Yeah, good day guys. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for coming back. In today's lesson, we'll be looking on how to play the C major chord. My name still remains Olu Victor, your guitar tutor. In this lesson, I will show you on how to play the C major chord, starting from the C major chord, going to the D chord, the E, F, G, a, B, C, and so forth. And what are the chord combinations of C major chord? In tonic so far, we have the Do, Mi, So, Do, Do, Mi, So, Do. For the alphabetical notes, we have the C, E, G, E, C for the full chord. From the neck chord, we are starting with the neck chord. So I will be showing you on how to play the C major chord as I've said earlier and the charts will be show will be display up up on the screen so you will be able to play it very well looking with uh, looking into that uh, chart and also I will I will show you the placements the the fingers we use to play each note in that chord so i will show you so let's go let's get to business now on the on the on the fifth strings our fifth strings a a fifth strings you know we have the a open strings we have the a sharp b and c on the third fret so our our key here which is the c will be the root note of that chord which is c major chord and this is c on the third fret we'll be using our ring finger to hold it third fret fifth string now go down to the fourth string on the open D, open D, we have the D sharp, eh? we have the D sharp, we have the E, we have the F, but we are going to use the E in this case. So we have the C, E. We will use the middle finger to hold the E. So the ring finger on the C, third fret, the middle finger on E, second fret, and going to the third string, we will play it open, G. So that will now sound as so. so. We play it open, that's G. So on the second string, we hold the first fret, which is the C. That's C E G C. So that's Do Mi So Do. So you cannot add the last string, which is the I E string. Do Mi So Do Mi. Hmm? For the C major chord. Do mi so do mi. So, this this this, uh, this is how you will place your hand. We have the index finger, the middle finger, the ring finger, and the picking finger. In this chord, we only use these three fingers: the uh, the index, the middle, and the ring finger. So don't just use another fingers to hold another notes in that chord. You will actually get a bit confused with it. Use the right fingers for each note on the on the chord combinations. So if you use the right fingers, you actually get it right. That's it. You get it right. So playing the chord like this, you can realize it by playing it one after each other, like do me so do me. Do so, 
that's an arpeggio pattern and you can play it like strumming it we have the down we have the down strumming we have the up strumming like high down up down up down up down so in this in this tutorial i'll show you how to do two things now how to strum and how to play the c major chord so in the next tutorial we i will i will show you on how to play the d chord like getting it one after each other like from c to d to e to f and in 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 other videos i will show you on how to play progressions like one two five like one four five like that like that but in this case in this tutorial I've, I've showed you on how to play the c major chord and how to strum like c major chord and how to strum up down up down ba, da, ba, da, ba. so in the next video i will be expecting you to watch on how to play the d chord see you in the next video if you haven't subscribed to the channel please like the video comment if you have any question comment drop your question in the comment section below and i will attend to it see you in the next video thank you